Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison, and I hope you're doing so so well today. Today, you guys, we are going to be making chicken chow mein. Yas, ma'am. I'm so excited. Yum, yum, yum. Vegan chicken chow mein, of course. But you guys already knew that because you guys know everything. I'm freaking stoked because I love noodles. I mean, who doesn't love noodles? I don't know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing that we are going to do is begin the sauce, okay? Because we love the sauce around here, okay? So, okay. In traditional chow mein, one of the main ingredients is oyster sauce. Obviously, I'm not gonna be using or eating oyster sauce, but not too long ago in the Asian market, I found this bad boy right here. This is vegetarian mushroom oyster sauce. When I saw it, I was so excited because I looked for it forever when I was trying to use it for a past recipe. And then I found it and I'm like, yes, oh my goodness. So um, this stuff is amazing. And when I saw it, I was like chow mein, chow mein, chow mein, chow mein all day. Mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some of this in here. Uh, oh, she's thick. I don't know. Two tablespoons. I don't know what to do with the measurements. You guys know I don't do it. <laughs> and then we're gonna put some soy sauce in there. A couple tablespoons as well. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit of sesame oil. Um, I would go with less if you really don't like the taste of sesame oil. It is really potent. Um, but I'm gonna put about that much, however much I put in there, maybe a little bit more. I really like sesame oil and this is toasted sesame oil yum okay and then we are going to add some brown sugar okay this might be too much I think I'm gonna add about half of this so maybe like just under a tablespoon or something yeah then we're gonna add some white pepper you could use like just some ground black pepper but white pepper is what they usually use in these recipes okay and then we are going to add just a little bit of water I gotta sneeze <laughs> okay so I've got everything mixed up here in my bowl this is about how much sauce it came out to you guys see and I wasn't sure if I was gonna want to do this or not but I think I'm gonna do this I'm gonna add a little bit of arrowroot powder you can also use cornstarch I'm gonna just use maybe about like that much and this is just gonna kind of thicken up the sauce when you cook it I don't think it's um, a required step it's certainly optional but I'm gonna do it because I'm feeling it you know what I'm saying just stir that in and make sure all the little clumps are out there's no clumps in there also sometimes chow mein calls for um, rice wine or like a sherry in the sauce but you don't have to do that that's totally optional okay our sauce is ready okay now let's move on to the next step all right so oh wait 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 i forgot to tell you guys something so these are the noodles that i'm going to be using today now these are not the traditional chow mein noodles these are just like chinese noodles they're, they're, they're ramen noodles, um, but they will work just fine. You can use ramen noodles, you can use linguine, you can use spaghetti, you can use any kind of noodles you want, like rice noodles, vermicelli, whatever, it doesn't matter. Do you, boo. When you're cooking these noodles, you wanna deduct a minute um, from the cook time when you are boiling the noodles because you don't want to cook them all the way through and like I would probably deduct maybe two minutes or three minutes if you're using like spaghetti or linguine or something like that but these noodles cook really fast so I just deducted a minute and then once they're done cooking on their cook time you're gonna run them under cold water to stop the cooking process and then add them to a bowl with a little bit of oil just a little bit of oil and toss it around to prevent the noodles from um, sticking together okay okay and also I have some water here today some sparkling water this is Italian sparkling mineral water oh my god it's so bougie I got this from Whole Foods. I never go to Whole Foods. 
I went there once, uh, not too long ago with Eden Jacks. I went to go get the, um, Beyond Meat sausages. They're so good. Mm. All right, so let's move on to the next step. So check out this freaking wok that I got. I got this at the thrift store for $3. It's heating up, it plugs in. It's just like a little portable wok. It's so cool, I'm so excited about it. So it's heating up and we're gonna add some um, avocado oil. We add avocado oil because it has a high smoke point because when you're doing stir fries, you cook things, all of your ingredients at really, really, really high temperatures. So we're gonna wait for this to heat up. You'll know it's ready when you just run your hand over it and you can feel the heat coming up, okay? Okay. While this is heating up, let me tell you some fun facts. Okay, do you know the difference between lo mein and chow mein? Question mark. First of all, mein, or I think it's pronounced mian, mian, mian? I'm not even gonna try. Is Chinese for noodles. So lo means tossed and chow means fried. Because traditional chow mein, like from what I found out, traditional chow mein, the noodles are like fried in oil for like five minutes. Um, and they're like crispy. Ooh, this is getting hot. Okay, let's add some oil. But it's not, like you're not gonna find that here in like American Chinese food, you know what I'm saying? Okay, oh my gosh, this motherfucker gets hot real quick. I tested it out the other day. Okay, is that enough oil? Ooh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Okay, this thing gets so hot. Okay, so for the chicken today, I'm going to be using the Gardein Chicken Scalampi. Why? I really think that's how it's pronounced. But this is like their chicken breast patties, I guess, and I just kind of slice them into thin slices, okay? So we're gonna add that in here. Okay, in you go. So. You don't have to cook this very long because it's already, it's like, you know, not raw meat. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to cook this up, get this all crispy, crispy, crispy. So how I like to slice my onions is you just cut it in half and lay it flat. And then I just cut little thin slices just like this all the way through. It's so weird, like, cutting like this while you're sitting down. And you can even, like, follow the lines on the onion. Sorry if that's really loud for you guys. Okay, that's good enough, because this is getting awkward to cut. Okay, so. The chicken is done. Let me flip this one over, flip it on this side. The next thing we are going to add, and we're gonna only cook this really quickly, is some fresh ground ginger and some fresh chopped garlic, okay, garlic. Real quick, real quick, only for like 20 seconds or so because we don't want to like burn out the aromatics, okay? Now we're gonna add my favorite, the onion. Oh, yum, okay, get in there, okay. Next, I'm going to be adding broccoli. I know broccoli isn't like in traditional chow mein, but I've been craving broccoli. I haven't had broccoli in like forever. And so you wanna add your vegetables that take the longest to cook first because um, you want them to like, you know, have a longer cook time, right? Broccoli is cooked for a little bit. Now we're going to add our carrots in. Yum, yum, yum. Next, we're gonna add in some red and yellow bell pepper. If you noticed, I julienned or like matchstick style cut up all of my vegetables. You wanna make sure to do that. Also, if your broccoli isn't cooking down fast enough, you can always um, steam it a little bit. Put a lid on top of here and steam it up for just a minute. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot to add the green onions. I meant to add that in when I put in the other onions, but that's okay. We'll add them in now. No harm, no harm. This is a ton of veggies, you guys. <laughs> Usually, like, you wouldn't have this much veggies in chow mein, but, oh well. <laughs> we are going to add in our cabbage. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. All right, you guys. 
Let's add in some noodles. Mm. I don't know if I want to use the whole bit. Did I get noodle in my hair? There we go. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna put it all in there, but let's go ahead and add that in, and then let's add in our sauce. I'm just tossing and turning these noodles because I want to make sure they're all coated. Oh, my arm is getting tired. Okay, so let's just let that cook up for just a minute. Just want to reheat the noodles. Okay, so I turned off the heat. And now let me rearrange and let's scrub. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys, doesn't this look so yummy? Okay, let's try it out. Okay, wait, I wanna try a piece of chicken first. There it is. Got a little noodle on there. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh my god, let's eat. You guys, yum, yum, yum. Mmm. <gasps> Yum, 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 yum. It's the perfect amount of sauce. Like it's not saucy. Let me see on the bottom. Yeah, no, there's like no sauce on the bottom. Broccoli. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Dude. The noodles are like so good. <laughs> They're really chewy. Mm. I'm in love with this. Wow. I was watching a video. Have this guy like making like authentic chow mein. And he said that one way you can tell, or you, one way that he would tell when he would go into like a chow mein place, like a authentic chow mein place, um, he would look at other people's bowls and if, well, if obviously the noodles were gone, then that's a good thing. And he would also see to see how much sauce is left on the plate because chow mein is not supposed to be saucy, right? It's just supposed to be just right to coat all the noodles and the vegetables. I thought that was really cool. I didn't know that. I like don't have anything to say today. It's so weird. I'm like thinking, I'm like, what can I talk about in this video? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess you guys could just sit here and watch me eat noodles. You know what I was thinking about? Do I have food on my face? I think I just have a <laughs> sauce chin.
let's like slurp up one long noodle. This one, oh, there it goes. Here's one. Okay, ready? Okay, you know what I was thinking about? When I was doing my makeup today, I like noticed my scar. On my face. Do you guys have any scars on your face? Maybe I can tell you about how I got that scar on my face. I have two scars. I can't remember if, well I have more than two, but the two I'm thinking of, I have one right here on the bottom of my chin and I have one right here on my lip. I'll have to ask my mom, but I do know that the one right here <laughs> on my chin is because my mom was telling me to sit down and shut up. <sighs> and stop being a crazy Madison. She wasn't telling me to shut up. She never told me to shut up. She was nice to me, but I, you know, I was a wild kid. Very hyper. <laughs> Sorry, I know my story is like, you're like, hurry up. And I don't remember exactly what happened, but um, they had a van when I was younger. My brothers were in the van. My mom was telling me to sit down. My dad was driving. He was like telling my brother to like shut the door or whatever. And the door wasn't closed all the way and I was jumping around. And I fell out of the van. and I busted my chin open. <gasps> that reminds me of something fucked up that happened to me when I was a kid. Okay, now this, don't fucking think anything poorly about my dad. This is my fault. It was my birthday and my dad picked me up from school early because we were gonna go get pizza. And I remember being so excited to go get pizza. And um, my dad had this like old, old, old ass truck, like an old Ford truck. I mean, it was old when I was young. It was cool, it was like a blue truck with an eight track in it. It was a cool ass truck. And um, so my dad, told me put on your seatbelt and I would always I remember I was such a little shit I would always put on my seatbelt like half assly like not buckle it and I'm like yeah I got it I put it on I put it on and also I remember he the door on the passenger side when it shut properly sometimes you had to really slam it and sometimes I would just say fuck it and not um, worry about shutting it all the way <laughs> see this is my fault I didn't put on my seatbelt and I didn't make sure the door was shut. And my dad start, and I'm leaning against the door also. <laughs> and my dad um, starts driving out of the, the school parking lot and he's going really slow, okay? And he goes to like turn down the road um, out of the parking lot and which causes me to like lean on the door and I fall out of the door and I just like fall out of the seatbelt that was kind of like just haphazardly like strapped over my arm just like like shit <laughs> and I fly out of this freaking truck like and I go right on the freaking concrete <laughs> Oh my God, my dad 
fucking I've never heard a man scream so loud. You can just hear the fear in his voice. By the way, I'm okay. I just like fall out of the car and kind of slide on the concrete. <laughs> And I'm just like, what the fuck? And my dad just comes running out and he's like, grab me. He's like, oh my God, are you okay? Are you okay? And I was like, I, I don't, I don't know. I think so. <laughs> are we still going to go get pizza? Because, <laughs> um, I want pizza. I was okay. I, I don't know how, like, I don't know. I just got a hard head or something. I had like some road rash on me. I like got like on like the back of my legs and on my butt a little bit and I remember it would hurt when I would pee <laughs> the rash he's like are you okay do you have any broken bones does it hurt <laughs> we just got back in the car and he took me home my mom's a nurse, so my mom bandaged me all up. It's like, I'm not calling the ambulance unless I absolutely have to. <laughs> so are you okay? <laughs> and then we got pizza delivered to the house and I had, I still got my pizza. <laughs> my dad, he's such a man's man. Like. Whenever I would like get a cut or something, like on my arm or you know whatever, and he would tell me he would tell me to suck the blood out until it stopped bleeding. Like obviously not like an open gash or whatever, but like something I'd be like, I need a band aid. He'd be like, No, you don't. Here, do this. <laughs> suck the blood out of your wound. <laughs> I'm like, it's bleeding. Suck the blood. I'm like, okay. <laughs> my dad. Or to kill. Um, ants I remember I have these memories where he would put um because the, like there was a bad ant problem in our house he would leave the um like dirty pan on the stove and let the onion let the onions oh my god I'm thinking about sauteing onions right now <laughs> he would leave the dirty pan on the stove or he think he even like put sugar on it or something and then once all the ants were like in the pan, he'd turn it on and fry them. I'm like, what? I don't think that's how you get rid of ants, Dad. Maybe he's just super weird. Oh yeah, and about the truck story, my mom was super fucking pissed. <laughs> I mean, I would be too, but I always had to sit in the middle from then on out. I just sit in the middle of the truck. <laughs> well, that is it for me because I'm full. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.